Hi, welcome to Pyography Made Easy. I'm Brenda. In this tutorial episode, I am going to explain how I care and clean for my pyography pen tips. I'm not going to say that my method is the best method or the only method. Instead, I'm just going to present the information along with the manufacturer's recommendations and you can decide what you want to do. On my website, Pyography Made Easy, I have a written version of this tutorial, and in that blog will have the links to all of the manufacturers that I mention and any of the products. Well, let's get started. Prepping new pen tips. The first thing that I want to mention is whether or not there is anything you need to do to your pen tip before you use it for the first time. And the quick, easy answer is no. The only reason that I bring this up is that I have seen a number of videos telling the viewer to heat their pen tip till it is just glowing bright red and leave it there for at least 60 seconds. I have no idea what this is supposed to do. One person said it was supposed to condition the tip. I don't know what that means. Another person said it was to anneal the tip, but annealing means to soften, so again that makes no sense to me. Now I did go check with the manufacturers. Not one of them said you needed to do anything to get ready to use the pen tips, but two of them, Optima and Razor Tip, specifically address this misinformation, so let me quote them. Optima Never turn your power supply on high to anneal a tip. This will just lead to premature oxidation and may damage some of the smaller, standard size tips. Razor tip. Question. Is there anything special I have to do to my tips before I use them? Should I anneal them? Answer. There is nothing to do other than simply plug in the pen and start using it. Bottom line, pen tips are ready to use the minute that you get them. There's nothing you need to do to get them ready for their first use. Why clean? A clean pen tip will glide over the board surface easier, giving you smoother burn results. Carbon buildup acts as an insulator on the pen tip. The thicker the buildup is, the less heat that gets through, so the burn results get lighter in color. A thick carbon buildup can make it tough to get smooth burn results because the carbon has a tendency to catch or snag on the wood surface. Cleaning while burning. To clean a pen tip while you're still burning, Gently and very quickly rub the pen tip over clean cotton fabric. I am using a piece of denim fabric. You can use almost any natural fabric for this, things like cotton, linen, and canvas. Just don't use synthetic materials like rayon or polyester. They're made with polymers, and polymers are nothing more than a type of plastic. If the carbon buildup is too thick, the fabric may not be able to remove all of it. If this happens, the pen tip needs to be cleaned with a polishing compound. Polishing compound. For this cleaning method, you will need a strop and some polishing compound. A common compound is aluminum oxide. It comes in a powdered form. I haven't tried it. Instead, I will be using a buffing compound by Sharpel. This compound is made out of chromium oxide. There are two bars of the compound in the box that I bought. The bars are very firm. They feel like hard clay or wax. Traditionally, a strop is made out of leather that is attached to a piece of wood. From what I have read, you can use almost anything besides leather, including fabric like denim pants or cotton shirts, and even cardboard. To use, apply a little bit of the compound to your strop and gently rub the dirty pen tip over it until it is clean. 
Do not use the compound while your burner is on. Your pin tip should be cool to the touch when using the compound. Here's how the pin tip looked before and after I cleaned it. Fabric versus leather. I'm going to compare the cleaning capacity between fabric and leather. For my fabric, I will be using a piece of denim cloth. With the leather, I will be testing out both the grain or the front side and the back or the fleshy side. Let's start with the denim fabric. I begin with a clean pen tip. Then I turn on the heat and start burning really dark blotches on my artwork. This coats the pen tip with a thick layer of carbon. With the heat still turned on on my burner, I rub the pen tip over clean denim to remove the worst of the carbon. Then I turn off the heat on my burner, and while the pen tip is cooling down, I apply the buffing or polishing compound to a piece of denim. Then I gently rub the dirty pen tip over the compound coated fabric to remove the carbon. Periodically, I check to see if the pen tip is clean. Once it is, I'm all done. I repeat the same steps with the leather. I start out with a clean pen tip. I burn a couple rows of dark blotches on the board. With the heat still on, I wipe the pen tip on denim to remove some of the carbon. Then I turn off the heat and apply compound to the leather. Afterwards, I gently rub the pen tip over the compound coated leather until the pen tip is clean. The results. All three performed very well, but I thought that the grain side or the top side of the leather was a little bit faster and easier to do. A very close second was the denim fabric. Lastly was the flesh side of the leather. It just seemed to take longer than the other two. Benefits of Chromium Oxide First, the pin tips glide over the surface of the wood easier. Second, the pin tips resist carbon buildup. The lower the heat is, the longer this effect lasts. And third, after the initial cleaning, the pin tips become easier to clean. Manufacturer Recommendations Bren Peter I found nothing on their site, but they do sell the wire brush, so I have to assume that is their recommended cleaning method. On Burnmaster's website, I could not find anything about cleaning and or caring for pin tips and their machines. Colwood. On Colwood's site, they recommend using the factory recommended methods and stay away from coarse emery cloth or sandpaper. Now what's interesting is that they sell honing paper, polishing cloth, and cleaning burrs on their website. I don't recommend using any of them, and I will go into the details of why in the Products Not to Use chapter. Nibs Burner. I could not find their website. Optima. Optima recommends lightly buffing the tips using a polishing compound with either a leather strop or a small buffing wheel. Peter Child. I couldn't find anything on Peter Child's website about cleaning and or maintaining the pen tips. Razor Tip. Razor Tip recommends using their scraper cleaner. I do not, and I will cover that in the products not to use section. Pen Tip Care. Use just enough heat to get the job done. Burning at a lower heat setting will be more comfortable and help your pen tip and unit last longer. The coal wood burner I use goes up to 10. Most of the time I have it set somewhere between 3 and 4. If the handset feels hot or is uncomfortable to hold, then turn it off and let it cool down. Prolonged excessive heat can cause both the machine and the handset to wear out faster. Store the pen so that the tips are protected. The easiest solution for this is to store the pins in their protective case that the manufacturer ships them in. Another option is to build a desktop holder. I have a video explaining how to make one. 
One more option is to build a portable pen tip holder. There are many ways to do this, and I have a video that shows you how to create two different ones. I will put links to both videos in the description below. Safety After a pen tip has been cleaned with chromium oxide, it will produce smoke when it heats up. Don't inhale the smoke. I looked up the MSDS, which is the Material Safety Data Sheet, for chromium oxide, and it appears pretty benign. I looked it up for the aluminum oxide, and there is a warning that it can be harmful if inhaled. Use common sense if you use either of the oxides. Don't inhale the oxides. Don't eat the oxides. Use in a well-ventilated area. Wash your hands after using. Wear a mask. Products not to use. Coarse grit or low grit sandpaper. This includes nail files or emery files. They will damage the metal on your pen tip. A couple of different metal workers told me that if you use sandpaper, it needs to be at least 10,000 grit. Razor tips, scraper cleaner. I discovered this item while working on this tutorial, so I bought one. Razor tip claims you can use this while your pen tip is hot. The scraper is designed to sit flat on a table. Since I use an easel, I had to hold it so that it would show up in the video. Look what it did to my pen tip. My video camera isn't very good with close-ups, so I took a picture. The scraper created a lot of scratches on my pen tip. Colwood's honing paper. I haven't tried this, but they warn it is rough enough to slightly wear at the tip's metal, so use carefully. Colwood's cleaning burrs. The sales rep told me these were benign. You can use them as often as you want and it won't damage your pen tips. After I used them about three or four times, I noticed that one of my shaders had thinned out considerably. Just to give you an idea of how well it removes metal, my shader that the razor tip scraper cleaner damaged, I used one of Colwood's cleaning burrs on it, and in a very short time, all the scratches were removed. Well, that's it for this tutorial. I hope you found the information helpful. Like I said at the beginning, I do have a written version of this tutorial on my website, Pyography Made Easy. I will provide a link to the blog in the description below. Well, thank you so much for watching my video, and I will see you next week. Thank you again for watching my video. If you liked the video and found the information helpful, then please subscribe to my channel. That would help me out a lot. Well, thank you again, and have a great week.